All right, so I'm going to show you what an NOP is. Um, an NOP instruction, um, generally speaking, um, you can do it many different ways, but it's simple just to type that something in. Um, let's just say you wanted to have like a, a situation where you wanted to actually see the data. Okay, just like in data one, we wanted to come over here and see this data. Okay, so uh, if we want to, what we can do is we can say, okay, move. Um, and then what we can do is push this in here and we're not really going to move anything we're just going to basically say NOP we're going to we're going to AFI it uh, we're going to AFI it for one uh, but let's just say you want to look at the bit level let's yeah and let's do that because that would be a better illustration so let's look at the bit level of that actual instance and that's going to be I believe bit zero is the one we used so um, there's that right so you see what we have here even though we have a, a AFI let's just take the AFI out we have nothing in the backside so we can't actually backside of the wrong which is the where the you know where you command stuff to happen um, basically so we don't have anything in there so what do we do all right so there's this tool or a an instruction called an NOP I like to personally just drag down uh, any instruction and just right here just double click it and type NOP it's just that simple and you see how that gave us the ability to actually track that or to actually assemble that um, edit so what this is saying is that you're not using this for an operation you're not using this to control anything the NOP instruction is merely just a blocking point so if I wanted to monitor like more data right so if I wanted to just copy that over and paste that in there and paste that in there and paste that in there and then look at um, this to say this would be uh, two or, or let's this would be one uh, let's escape out of that and then change that to one and then we'll look at bit and this one we'll look at boolean one and this one we're going to look at boolean now let's just let's just go ahead and look at a different boolean inside of uh, inside of here so you can see that they're going to be different okay so and let's look at boolean one in here so you can see you can just use this for data your, your like personal information right so just use this think about an NOP instruction is like say you want to monitor some data that you've been you know actually doing and, and transitioning um, or, or maybe even something that you just want to have as a placeholder that you want to reference later um, or just something easy to troubleshoot you can use this NOP instruction this no operation and it will have no function on the actual program whatsoever um, I will say the one caveat is to actually be cautious that you do not move stuff and you don't do like that's why I tra transition from a move to a uh, actual bit um, because you don't want to move something in because it will still move it in there so just keep that in mind um, the NOP again um, you don't have to necessarily have an AFI because uh, you're using an NOP it's not actually going to do nothing these bits would be used to control something but there's nothing to control because we're using an NOP, a no operation. Hopefully you learned a lot from that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.